Hi, I'm Gemma Allen. It may come as no surprise that divorce is a $30 billion a year industry that can devastate a couple's finances. The division of chores between the spouses in here and in a marriage immediately becomes almost non-existent. The economy of scale is gone since each party now has to pay separately for all the necessities. Some assets often lose value because they can't be split into as easily as a savings account could. If we truly analyze the real economic cost of a divorce, most of us would find a way to stay together if possible. Divorce lawyers can't help but notice that no matter how large or small your asset base, you're going to be cutting it in half. The first three letters of divorce and division are the same. Note that. You're dividing whatever your particular partnership has amassed, either equally or in some proportion, that will hit both sides' bottom line. If you're the breadwinning spouse, you're likely going to be sharing some portion of your income with the one you used to love. On the other hand, if you're the non-breadwinner, your life will suffer an economic impact, which is often shocking. For example, in Illinois, the non-breadwinner is likely to get something in the range of 30% or more or less of the big earner's income, which is about a two-thirds economic hit. And the duration of that income, as well as the calculation, could be the subject of an entire law school course and often is. But the fact is, it's a lot less than one would have if they stayed married. No marriage is made in heaven. And mind you, some are simply intolerable or unsafe, and they must end. But some marriages are good enough, and perhaps could be much better if the money were put towards counseling and date nights rather than spent on divorce lawyers. Divorce is an individual, personal question. But if you're looking just at the economics of your life, it's a question well worth asking. I'm Gemma Allen. Thanks for watching. See you next time. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.